Well guys, that LED flashing light looks cool, isn't it? So in today's video, I'm going to show you how it works and later on we are going to build one for ourselves. So without any further ado, let's jump into the schematic. Now the goal here is to light up two different sets of LEDs alternately and preferably with adjustable frequency. So our base is going to be a triple five timer IC and to split its output into two halves for lighting two different sets of LEDs alternately we are going to add a counter next to that which is CD4017IC. Now I have formed two sets of three output from the counter that are going to drive each set of LEDs. This makes the LEDs to blink three times before it alternates with the other set. Now that's what I have decided to go with but you can choose it anywhere from one blink up to five blinks by connecting the outputs in parallel. Now make sure you put a diode along with each output pin so that you won't blow up the IC. As each set contains 16 LEDs, so to drive them, we are going to use an NPN transistor to deal with the substantial current draw. Besides that, I've used a 100k potentiometer to control the output frequency of the 555 timer IC. The rest of them you see are a bunch of complementary components and I'll link the data sheet for both the timer and counter IC in the description below. Since I'm making this flasher light for my RC truck and bicycle, so I need to produce multiple copies for this flasher light. Now to save time later and to make everything neat, I'm going to design the PCB for this flasher light. As I finished the design of the PCB, I just headed up to PCBWay.com and after going through a bunch of options over there, I just uploaded the Gerber files. Once they get reviewed by their technical staff, I've waited them to get delivered. Well, these guys have made this video possible, so make sure you have a look at their website for some great quality PCBs. And besides that, they are also having second PCB design contest, so make sure you check that out to win some great prices. By the weekend, the boards were on my workbench, ready to get the job done. At first, I was a bit worried about their strength considering the width of the board, but they are stiff and the quality is flawless. I'll drop down the list of all the components that are used for this project along with the circuit diagram and the Gerber files for the PCBs. Later, the board is then clamped in place and we drop down all the components as stated on the PCB. As always, I prefer to use IC holder for the convenience of replacing the faulty IC later. After soldering all the components on the board, we then connected it to our 12 volt battery. As I toggled the switch, everything worked as expected. The frequency range seems to be wide and you can easily adjust it by turning the knob of the potentiometer. So guys, I hope you like this video. And by the way, that RC truck to which that flasher light was attached is eRevo 2.0 and we are soon going to unbox and review this truck. So for some great action, stay tuned for the upcoming video. Oh, <laughs>